Good morning, everyone. We continue in Psalm 18 today with a scripture reading and prayer. We'll be reading verses 16, 17, and 18. The Lord, He reached down from on high and took hold of me. He drew me out of deep waters. He rescued me from my powerful enemy, from my foes who were too strong for me. They confronted me in the day of my disaster, but the Lord was my support. Isn't that a beautiful portion of Scripture? Um, I want to read it again and, and make it a little more, a little bit more personal for David. Um, God reached down from on high. God extended Himself down. He didn't send an angel. He didn't send a messenger. He Himself reached down. God took hold of, accepted David. He drew David out of deep waters. What we have here. Um, just so, you know, for our, for our learning, is we have an allusion to Moses. In Hebrew, Moses means to pull out of, to draw out of water. I thought that was very interesting. Well, for David, the waters of circumstance, they were tumultuous. They were churning. They were troubled. So verse 17, God rescued David from his powerful enemy, from his foes who were too strong for David. David's enemies confronted him in the day of his disaster. The Lord was his support. Isn't that just so personal? God is personal. He was so personal with David. And, and God is, is personal with us. Um, we, we need not to forget that. God is, he knows each one of us deeply. He knows each, each of us by name. He knows how many hairs are on our heads. Some have more than others, but you know, he knows us deeply. You know, we can't hide from God. We, why would we want to hide from God? He sees everything. He knows everything. So as this as an encouragement, I'm going to read the Psalm again. And then this time I'm going to make it personal for you and personal for me. Um, You know, often in our circumstances, um, they're tumultuous, they're turning, they're troubled. Often in your circumstance, often in my circumstance, you know, our circumstances are strongly opposed to us, our character, you know, sometimes. And then often we are confronted with, with same disaster. Well, then when our circumstances overwhelm us, I want us to remember this portion of Psalm 18 as I'm about to give it to you. I want us to remember Psalm 18, 16, 17, and 18 verses um, in this way, making it personal. God reaches down from heaven, from on high. God extends himself down. He won't send an angel. He won't send a messenger. He himself reaches down. God takes hold of us, accepts us. He draws us out of deep, tumultuous, churning, troubled waters. God will rescue us from our powerful enemies, from our foes who are too strong for us. The Lord will be our support. The Lord will be our support. Take much encouragement in that. So much strength from these verses today. May they carry you. May they encourage you. Um, God Himself reaches down. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you for the beauty of today. We pray that today, Father, we take every thought, every word captive. Lord, the question continues to turn over in my mind. What is man? What is mankind that you are so mindful of them, of us? And the only answer, Father, that I feel you give is love. An unconditional love. Where we thank you for loving us. We thank you for caring for us. We thank you for Jesus. Use us today, even in the minutest way, use us today. We want to be a testimony for you. Father, thank you for being our stronghold. Thank you for being our support. We lean heavily into these verses this morning, especially what's going on around us in our world. 
We, we need your hand of mercy, your hand of strength to reach down and pick us up. And then, Father, help us to pick someone else up, to lead someone else to you, to guide someone else to you, your hand of mercy, your strong arm. Lord, we love you. In Jesus' name we pray together. Amen. Well, I love y'all. Y'all have a great day.